Reality is labs are really uh, incredibly important and the college have realized that and that's why they have built many uh, well advanced laboratories that's world class that will be able to be proud of. In, uh, at the, the, the one of the, of the uh, outcomes of all these innovations and, and collaborations that the college have engaged in uh, many years ago were that uh, a Ugandan laboratory, which is the Muju Lab, uh, Macquarie University John Hopkins Collaboration Laboratory, was the second College of American Pathology accredited lab on the African continent. Only after there was one lab in South Africa back then. Today, there are three laboratories that's American accredited, College of American Pathology accredited laboratories in Uganda alone uh, in the last six or seven years. So that level of, of quality, it's, and, and two of them is on Makerere campus. So we do have a lot of the, 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 the knowledge and the same quality of lab tests that would be offered in the developed world is really, we have it here on campus. Of course, there are many uh, issues that can be talked about from resources to, to uh, ability to actually have the right training uh, to disseminate all this information and to bring it out. Uh, so what we've done in, in, in the Infectious Institute and, and Macquarie University is uh, we have looked at, at bringing in the latest instruments at all times to make sure that we're updated as time goes, uh, especially with the HIV care. And today, the, 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 the level of service that offered for HIV patients, especially laboratory services, is the same that offered all over the world. There's, there's nothing better that you could find anywhere else than what we have here today. The, the instrumentation that we have is fully automated, uh, extremely expensive instruments, and it's operated in, in this environment very well, and it's being kept to date. Uh, in addition to all that, to be able to disseminate some of this information, we have looked at creating uh, offshoot laboratories within IDI, as we call it, central uh, laboratories that piggyback on the, on the quality that offered by the CAP accredited lab, but at the same time to have something uh, high quality but low cost. So we call it an IDI central laboratory, whereby we bring instruments from all over the country and from several districts that the IDI is, is providing service in and Kampala City Center, uh, and do all the CDC testing, which is the complete blood count, and uh, uh, CD4, which is for, for measuring the, the, the immune cells of the body, uh, which is done at a very low cost, probably is the lowest in Uganda uh, at that level. So um, the other thing is that we've been uh, working on is innovating the, the, uh, the training program within IDI. Uh, basically what, what we've done is uh, only last year we've trained over 150 laboratory professionals. Now it's really important to realize the level of training that offered when you train people or you, you train students on something that abstract and you show them books and you give them the best training in the world but without actually giving them the environment whereby we will be able to allow them to see how, how does it look out of this book? How does it really translate into action? And that's what we'll be able to, to provide at the, at the Muji Laboratory in IDI, whereby we show a world-class laboratory, and this is how it's gonna look like, and this is what your laboratory should look like at one point, in addition to all the things. And, and one of my colleagues earlier mentioned, Reality is the level of education that received for the doctors and all allied health professions in Uganda, it's equivalent to anything all over the world, or one of the top actually from all over the world. So when, when we expose our students to this level of innovation and, and, and high level of things, immediately we get best results. Um, the, in addition to the, to the IDA laboratory training, what happened is we've been asked in the last uh, two years by the Department of um, Defense in the United States to take that uh, laboratory training program to Mali and translate it to French language and teach them down there in Mali this thing. So in the Francophone area, we're also trying to expand to that and, and provide the laboratory training as well.